Hello and welcome to my video again. So in this video, I will motivate by trying to solve the following problem. Let's suppose that we have a circle of uh, radius A. The center at the origin. And we know from the elementary geometry that the area of a circle of radius A is given by pi A square. Now today I want to evaluate the quarter part of a circle, this blue shaded region, the quarter of a circle and because of the symmetry we know that area of this part is given by pi A square by 4. Okay. So we will keep this thing in mind and now we go to do it systematically by calculating the area of this object of this part using integral calculus. So we can set up our usual integral but before that let me just give you some idea what we are going to do. As we know this is x axis. This is our y axis, this is the origin and since the radius is A, so the coordinate of this point is A comma 0. Now we set up our usual integral under curve y equal to fx. And the integral is given by the by this formula integral of y dx from 0 to a. So this is why we need to find the formula for y. So how we can express this curve as a function of x? Well, we also have answer for this from coordinate geometry. So from coordinate geometry we know the circle center at the origin of radius a the equation of that circle is given by this formula. Now we need to represent y as a function of x. So let's do this simple arithmetic y square equal to a square minus x square. Now we are in the positive quadrant. We are in the first quadrant. Isn't it? We are in the first quadrant. And since we are in the first quadrant, therefore we know that y is positive. So this implies since we are only taking the positive y, y equal to a square minus x square. The equation of this part is root over a square minus x square. Why? Because y is positive in the first quadrant. So This part, we substitute y as root over of a square minus x square. And we have the integral limit from 0 to a. Now, we have seen something like this and in principle we could try to do substitution, right? Now, in order to solve this integration, we need to follow a, a special kind of substitution technique. Luckily, here we have the geometry working for us. So uh, in the sense, let me just give you some idea that how geometry is going to help us. This is A. So this let's consider a certain level of X. And A. This is, uh, we consider as a uh, y, as a function of x, y equal to fx. So this is a and this is the long side of, uh, this is a right angle triangle and we consider this as phi. We denote this angle as phi and I am going to express y 
I am going to express x as phi. So, uh, what is the relationship between x and phi? This is a right angle triangle. This, let me just name this O A. So, we know O A equals x. This is P. So, OAP in triangle OAP triangle OAP OA equals X and angle POA equals phi. So what is the relation between X and uh, phi in this right angle triangle? Yes, X equals A cos phi. Isn't it? X equals A cos phi. Now, we are here see that if uh, if phi equals, uh, now, now, now we have to compare uh, with the limit. We see that uh, when, uh, now, uh, when X equal to, let's first talk about the lower limit. When, when X equal to 0. So when when x equal to zero, it means a cos phi equals zero. Now when this part will be zero, when y x. Now x equals zero is when when x is in the y axis. Here x equals zero, right? So when we obtain this thing, when phi equals when phi equals pi by 2, isn't it? Because this is x equal to 0 axis and when phi when when phi uh, coincide with, with y axis, then x equal to 0. Therefore, when x equal to 0, phi equals pi by 2. Similarly, when x equals a, when x equals a, a equals a cos phi. So when x equals a, this implies cos phi equals 1. So uh, when, when x equals a, when it happens, when this line collapse with the x axis or when we know when cos phi equal to 1 when phi equals 0 when phi equal to 0 then cos phi equals 1 therefore we obtain this thing comparing with the lower and upper limit when x equal to 0 our phi will be pi by 2 when x equals a phi equal to 0 Therefore, we obtain this relationship when x equals this thing we, we obtain. Now, uh, what we will do, finally, what I want, what we want to do, we want to calculate this um, after substitution, after um, substitution, uh, let me just do this here y s square minus x square and we have here s square minus s square cos square phi so this s square 1 minus cos square phi s square as we know how we come from this step to this step it is from with this identity sin square phi plus cos square phi equals 1 implies sin square phi equals 1 minus cos square phi so 1 minus cos square phi equals sin square phi now since a is a radius so it cannot be negative so 
a sin phi now we have we have to look after one more thing that what would be the derivative of uh, when we are going to take derivative of x as we know if x equals a cos phi if we are taking derivative both sides then dx as the whole expression it will be as minus of a sin phi because we know derivative of cos phi is minus of sin phi therefore dx equals minus of a sin phi now we substitute all of this in equation 1 this is this was our this was our equation 1 we substitute all of those value the lower limit the value of x dx using the help of this geometrical substitution we finally obtain this expression okay so now this is my new integral completely rewritten in terms of the angle phi and as we have seen in our earlier slides that since a is a positive number because a is a radius and we are in the first quadrant so in the first quadrant since sign is positive sin phi is positive in the first quadrant we have seen this earlier that this expression can be rewritten as a sin phi dot a sin phi this one so we obtain minus of pi by 2 0 a square sin square phi d phi now we know that we have this formula from integral calculus this is this can be these two things are same when we are replacing the lower and upper limit between themselves then a minus symbol come in front of the integral we are going to do the same thing here we are going to so we are going to replace the lower and upper in limit between themselves so this minus of minus um, a minus symbol will come in front of this so minus minus plus so the symbol will be positive minus will get vanished so this expression are equal therefore we obtain this expression now we have to evaluate this integration but here is a little problem is there is no known formula to evaluate this integral therefore we need to further reduce this expression in and simplify this more so for that we are going to use a well-known trigonometric identity which is cos square phi minus sin square phi equals cos 2 phi it is a very well known trigonometric identity of multiple angles cos square phi minus sin square phi equals cos 2 phi equation 1 and we have one more cos square phi plus sin square phi this equals 1 so let's put this equation number 1 this equation is number 2 now we need to evaluate sin square phi how we can get sin square phi from these two equations see if we subtract 2 minus 1 here we have very little space so i am doing it here so if we subtract 2 minus 1 what we are obtaining we are obtaining see cos square phi cos square phi will get cancel out we will obtain sin square phi plus sin square phi equals 1 minus cos 2 phi this implies 2 sin square phi equals 1 minus cos 2 phi this implies sin square phi equals 
half of 1 minus cos 2 phi c this is the same thing sin square phi being replaced by half of 1 minus cos 2 phi this half came in front of the integral and the this term simplified into this term now we can easily evaluate this term with the help of the integral formula whatever we have s square by 2 let, let us now evaluate this integral we can write this as 0 pi by 2 1 d phi minus 0 pi by 2 cos 2 phi d phi so we can write this in this way a square by 2 now 1 d phi it will be phi 0 pi by 2 and what is the integral of cos 2 phi what is the formula the formula is sin 2 phi by 2 integral of cos 2 phi is sin 2 phi by 2 0 pi by 2 so you obtain these expressions now this expression can also be simplified in this way so you obtain this expression these two are equivalent we are just putting the limit outside of the box and it is 0 to pi by 2 and sine 2 pi by 2 i hope this is clear now this thing is a square by 2 now we can write this as pi by 2 minus 0 minus sine 2 into pi by 2 by 2 minus sine 0 by 2 sine 2 into pi by 2 2 2 get cancelled and it uh, sine pi minus sine 0 so what we are obtaining from here we are obtaining a square by 2 pi by 2 minus 0 left 0 we will not count the 0 now sine pi value of sine pi is 0 sine 0 is 0 so everything here is 0 so finally what we are obtaining we are obtaining a square by 2 into pi by 2 and this expression is pi a square by 4 Ta -da! so as i mentioned in our beginning slides we obtain the same thing i can write down the answer which is this and uh, so in our beginning slides the area of the quarter is pi a square by 4 we have already mentioned this and the good news is it's exactly as expected right so this is just to check that the calculation holds but uh, the important lesson from here the takeoff lesson from here is that we used a very sophisticated substitution technique in this case right we said that x is a x is a trigonometric function and we reduced an algebraic function initially what was the, our function it is an algebraic function right fx was a square minus x square it is an algebraic function so what we did we convert an algebraic function into a trigonometric function and then we are able to simplify it enough to be able to evaluate the integral okay and this is the principle uh, that we will use over and over for integrals of this sort initially they will not look like a trigonometric function they will look like some algebraic function but we can convert them into trigonometric function we can simplify it and we can simplify the integral and finally we can solve it i hope you have enjoyed the video and you have learned lots of things see you in next video if you have any problem please don't forget to comment in the comment box and please also subscribe my channel and if you like this video please share with your brothers sisters and friends till then see you bye